Hi guys, this is Bilal Khan and you are watching Simplified Coding. In the last video, we have done with the home screen. Now the second screen is where we will display all the users registered in our database. So this is what we are going to create in this video. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to add recycler view and card view in our project because I am going to use recycler view to display the list of all the users. So go to file, then project structure, dependencies and add library dependencies. And here you need to find card view, this is card view and also recycler view. So we have added card view and recycler view, click OK and it will sync your project with Gradle. If you are getting some error then make sure the version of the support library that you are using should match with your recycler view and card view version. Now let's create a layout for our list item. So I will create recycler view users and if you will go to the response for getting all the users which is this all users this is the endpoint then we have ID email name and school to display we will not display the ID we will display only these three parameters so we have to design what we want to display so again I will use a linear layout for the sake of simplicity and let's make it a relative layout and inside the relative layout I will create a card view and make sure this layout file height should be wrap content or else you will see only one item in a screen. So. Uh, I will give some margin to this card view let's say 3dp and inside the card view I will create a linear layout and let's make the orientation vertical now I will define three text views here first is for email or first is for name let's put a name let's put my name and I will give it an ID as well text view name and the same way I will define for email and let's make this appearance to medium and then school And let's make some padding let's say 4 dp so we have our list now you can work with the design to make it look good but this is only an example so we are designing quickly so this is our list layout now come back to uh, your project directory and we will define an adapter for our recycler view so let's create one more package this time and I will name it adapters and let's create a new class here and let's say users adapter is the name of the class. Now as it is a recycler view adapter we need to extend recycler view dot adapter and for this adapter we need to define the view holder which is users adapter dot users view holder. So we need to create this class inside this class. So let's create it. And as this is a view holder, we need to extend recycler view dot view holder. Now alt enter create a constructor alt enter implement methods. Now here also I will create a constructor but first I will define some variables or objects. So first we need the context object. Then we need the list that we want to display. So we are going to display a list of user. 
now I will generate a constructor to initialize these two values. So we have the constructor. Now in the method get item count, I, I am not going to explain recycler view in detail. If you don't know what is a recycler view, a uh, link to the recycler view tutorial is given in the description. So you can check and learn more about recycler view from there. So we will quickly create the recycler view. So here we will return userless.size and here we will return our users view holder. So for this we need our view. So let's create a view first. Our layout is, oops, uh, recycler view users let's import the r file and for the second parameter we can pass parent and for the last parameter we can pass false then finally we can return new users view holder we are returning an instance of this class so users view holder and we will pass the view as the constructor is accepting a view so we have this class now inside on bind view holder first we will get the current user using this position variable so we will get user less dot get position fine and here we will define our views so we have text view name email and school let's initialize all the values and as you can see we are passing the view object here so from this item view we can use find view by id to get the text views so we have item view dot find view by id r dot id dot text view name and then we have email and school school fine now we will set the values to these text view here in on bind view holder method. So we will use this holder object to get these text views. So we will write holder dot text view name dot set text user dot get name. Then we have get email and get school. So we have the values set to the text views. Now our adapter is ready. We can fetch the values from this API call. So the endpoint is all users. So go back to your API interface and define a get request this time. As this is a get request. So we will define the get and the endpoint as this all users. And this time we have a call and we just forget to define the response type. So as you can see, we are having a response error and then users, it is having an array, the list of users. So we can create one more response object here. So let's create users response. And in our response, you can see we have a Boolean variable and a list so let's define first we have boolean error and again i will give the same name so i do not need to use the serialized name annotation and then users so private this time it is a list of type user you can see it here we have users then generate the constructor and getters. So we have our response class ready. Now go back to API and define the response type for this call, which is users response. Then we will name it get users. And this time we do not need to pass any parameters. Now come back to your users fragment and here first we will define our recycler view and we also need to define the recycler view in the XML file which is users fragment. 
so here we will define our recycler view match parent match parent id would be recycler view and let's make the margin and we do not need the margin actually so we have recycler view match parent match parent now it is an empty tag so we can collapse it so we have our recycler view now come back to users fragment and here we will define the recycler view then we need to override a method oops not constructor a method this time we will override on view created and one more thing that we need is private list users so we also need the list of users that we want to display now inside on view created first we will initialize the recycler view and we will use this view object so we have our recycler view now let's write recycler view dot set layout manager new linear layout manager and then we will pass get activity as we want a vertical recycler view so we have our recycler view now we also need the adapter of our recycler view which is users adapter good so we have adapter we have user list and we have recycler view now first we will get the users list of users from the api call so again we will define a call with type users response and we will get it from retrofit client So retrofit client, get instance, get API and get users. Finally we will call call.nq and again type new press control space hit enter and you have the methods overridden. Now from this response we can get the list of users. So here we will get the users in this user list. So we will write user list equals to response dot body dot get users fine we have the user list now we can create our adapter equals to new adapter which is users adapter the first parameter is context so we can pass get activity and the second parameter is the user list which we just fetched now we will set this adapter to recycler view that's it so we have done with fetching users from the server now let me show you by running the application that it is working now let's go to the user screen and our app is crashing so let's check the logcat why it is crashing So let's go to the user screen and check the error and you can see it is the issue and according to the error the recycler view is null and the issue is this is users fragment but we are inflating the settings fragment so here we should write users fragment so that was the issue now let's run it again go to users fragment and you can see we have all the data that we have in our database in a list so it is working fine and our users fragment screen is also complete so that's all for this video friends you can get the source code from the link given in the description of this video and I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, then please hit on the like button, subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends. If you are already a subscriber, please let your friends know about this channel. So that's all for this video guys. This is Bilal Khan now signing off.